Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. I am Delilah Rose. This is Delilah's Spiritual Spot. We're coming with your weekly reading for July uh, 31st to August 6, 2022. Remember to take what resonates and leave behind what doesn't. I am using my gentle um, preacher's oracle cards, my black line tarot, and my classic Rider Waite Smith here. And let's just get started. I need a card for it. Oh, that's oh, perfect. You got drift. You know, we got turn back, drift, and guide. You are being guided. This drift and guide is letting you know the same message here. You see that butterfly there that is guiding uh, this person or creature who is adrift, who is lost at sea. Um, you are not alone. You are being guided on this trip. You're actually getting pushed towards something else. And unfortunately, sometimes it takes a tower moment and upheaval to push you in the right direction here. It's, you, you can't go back. You can't turn back. Turning back is like turning the clock back. It's putting you back into certain situations. And now it's time to move forward. You see this creature is moving forward with his lantern which speaks to spirit that butterfly guiding them on their journey it is a difficult journey one of lots of emotion here uh, water in each um, depiction here lots of turbulent times lots of uncertainty um, that you're feeling am I doing the right thing um, did I make the right choice and you did for you not saying it was easy and you're not going through it because you're you're obviously going through a rough emotional time um, Aquarius but you are being guided and you are headed in the right direction even though it doesn't seem that way <clears throat> let's draw the tarot here and see what this is in reference to. Now this could be love, career, money. It could be all three. We'll see. Can I get a car for Aquarius? Okay. Of course, it hit the floor. One second. We have two cards here. We have the hangman and we have the page of pentacles. Pentacles are slow moving right um, just to get off the bat there pages are about learning learning your craft learning how to become the knight um, educating yourself um, you know it could be a financial education it could be an education in stability because we have this emotional upheaval here the hangman that came along with it dictates looking at things from a different perspective taking a forced right tower moment time out right you see that he can't go anywhere he is tied to that tree that bird is coming with knowledge that bird's not going to leave anywhere until he comes into that knowledge um, and sometimes you have to be put in a position to to learn it's hard right life is hard so we have the hangman and the page of pentacles we also have the King of Cups. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Emperor. We have the World card. I'm putting two cards out. We have the Chariot and then we have the Three of Cups and we have the Four of Wands. You left someone. This is a relationship read. You had left someone or a situation if you want to apply it to your life in a different way. You've walked away from a situation that was very um, mentally painful. One of a lot of emotional turmoil and hurt, abuse. This emperor is controlling. This emperor, you know, instead of this emperor gazing into this ball of knowledge, this person is holding you in the grips of their hand and it was by fear and you were terrified 
and this is the turmoil. Um, you know, it's not easy leaving someone you love and leaving an abuser. We, you know, I, my father was abusive. He was also very controlling. It's giving me that type of vibe. Um, My mother never stopped loving my father, but she did leave him. I never stopped loving my father, but I never saw him again. Um, and it was the right decision because we had to survive. We had to weather the storm. Because even after leaving, the baggage was still there. You know, love binds. That's why there's love unbinding spells and there's cord cutting because love binds us, um, especially through our pain. And it's a weird, I don't know why I'm feeling the need to tell you this. It is a weird symbiotic connection. And what, what I mean by that is like one hand washes the other. Um, the abuse becomes normal. Right until until you step away, and sometimes step away for years, you don't understand the control this person had over your life, and this is why people turn back, right? Because they make us think we can't live without them, but you can, and you can thrive, and you will thrive. But this is the turmoil of should I stay? Should I go? He's not that bad. He had a rough childhood. She had a rough childhood, you know, she had difficulties with her mother, uh, you know, she didn't grow up in the best neighborhood, he didn't grow up in this neighborhood. We'll make excuses for our abusers all day. This is the type of situation I feel you left. So if just this just reaches one person, I've done my job. You have walked away from a lot of turmoil of being mentally controlled by a narcissistic, abusive personality. Here we are stepping into it. Someone new is going to step forward, right? The King of Cups, this is not a male or female, this is energy, brings you emotional balance, brings a stability in your life that you weren't accustomed to. He's coming or she's coming with love without control, love with support. We come from here I, I'm not an Aquarius but when I say we I'm, I'm making a connection with you we come from here and so this is foreign but this is the one who's going to weather the storm with us this is our partner this is our light and our partner here if you look close at this lantern there's like a fairy in there I don't know if you can see it you can look up these cards, you know, you really get a clearer picture. And I'm sorry for the people who can't see it. So we have this King of Cups, this new energy entering our life, and we don't know what to do with it. And I'll tell you exactly why I feel that way. It's because of the card next door. We have the World card clarifying that uh, King of Cups. So this is something of completion. This is something of being rooted. This is something that... Uh, spirit is guiding you towards this is literally a new beginning a new world for you and it's a positive one we have the eight of swords and this is a mental trapping of our own doing a self imprisonment and that is the warning take the blindfold off and realize that this person this king of cups is not this backwards emperor energy this is one of happiness and fulfillment. This is somebody you're going to meet on an off chance because we have the chariot card um, clarifying that eight of swords. Um, so this is something that's going to happen by an off chance. The chariot also speaks, and a lot of people overlook this, speaks of mental stability and clarity, um, taming the light and the dark horse. So if you can clean that energy of control if you can take the reins back you can 
get out of this mental imprisonment and accept the love that's entering your life. Now, this could be a good friend. This could be a lover. This could be just someone who's going to give you that emotional support and show you a different way to live. Don't close the door on that energy because we're stuck in the past. We're stuck in the possibility of turning back. This came out with the Three of Cups. This uh, The Chariot card came out with the Three of Cups. And I love this because this is celebration. This is a celebratory card. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Wands. This King of Cups is going to turn into your husband or wife. It's going to bring in that healing energy. I don't even think I need to clarify. I'm just going to ask for a final message or card here. Well, half the deck fell out, so we can't we can't read that. So let's put all of this back and let's reshuffle. Can I get a message or card, a final message or card here for Aquarius? And I pulled it, and it's the victorious card. The six of wands is victory. It's victory, victory, and we have the knight of wands on the bottom of the deck, and that's you chasing. Um, this mental clarity, this 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 new love, this new energy in your life. I'm Delilah Wilson. This uh, is your message, Aquarius. Thank you for joining me.